Thornar is now an accepted part of the Merchant's Quarter community, and I got compensated with a pair of Daedric gauntlets, an expensive ring, and over 600 septums. In total, this was probably the most well-paid job I have ever had in my life. I suppose that good business requires a good reputation amongst your fellow merchants. Otherwise, if there is an unfair advantage like Thornar had with the dead's clothing and jewelry being turned up for cheap, then it will create a certain hostility amongst their peers when you undercut them. I thought that they worked under the premise of survival of the fittest, such as I do in the arena, but I suppose I was wrong. They tend to band together in some sort of guild in order to ensure fair business practices. The workings of coin have never really been something I am keen to improve my knowledge of before. However, I am starting to see the value of getting better prices for items I buy and sell. Therefore, I really think I should train under the most skillful of those who offer it in the mercantile art. I hear word of a master of that skill in the merchant's quarter. It's an Altmer, the one who owns the Divine Elegance, an upper-class clothing store. I also hear that you have to have a lot of coin for her to even begin teaching you. Those who have a more master level of the skill can invest septums in shops, and merchants will often be able to dig into their reserves to offer you more. All this could grant me a large bonus to what I go and sell to them, because right now they are quite limited. Though at the moment I do have quite a lot of septums, but this sort of state doesn't last forever. Perhaps I should go and spend a goodly amount of it, at least half of my 70,000, to purchase a home in Coral? I would really like to have a home of my own, especially since I haven't had one since I left Fell's castle when I was 17. That was half my life ago. Since then I've always had temporary lodging. That was never my own for me to call it mine. Frostcrag Tower is mine, but is it a home? I suppose it is a home, and one I can use to perform magical experiments, create new spells, and enchant items. The only other place and where to do such things are at the Arcane University. But I want a home that reminds me of the home that I feel I should have, though. I may be a mage. It's just that Frostcrag Tower feels soulless. Perhaps I'm just pining for the days of my childhood that I lost. The good days where I felt like I was someone and part of a greater community. Also, why don't the mage's guild teleporters take me to my Frostcrag Tower? It is a bit of a pain to ride out there when I need to. Frostcrag Tower makes me feel like I am exiled. You have to remember that my castle was always busy with people, and it was rarely, if ever, quiet. Chambermaids, soldiers training and drilling, family, travelers, merchants, and porters. I admit it was a bit much, and everyone heard everyone's business sometimes, even on the chamber pot, or getting a little loud in bed. But in Frostcrag Tower, the most I hear is the wind against it. To me, that's not home. It actually more reminds me of being back in my prison cell again. I must really be money hungry if I'm agreeing to do this, even though I have a lot of septums. Hello again. What can I do for you? Well, I was offered a job. And I know it's delivery, and I know it's not paying that much, and I know I turned you down last time, but I'd like to see about taking that job again, especially if I'm going to be traveling around through all the cities. Of course, for your first job, I need you to get a letter from Severus Atius and deliver it to Hafig Hollowig, Hollowleg at the Gerald View in Bruma. You will receive 50 gold upon successful completion of the job. Are you ready for the job? I suppose I'll take the job. Great. Good luck. Severus Atius. All these Imperial names start to sound the same. Severus Atius. Well, you didn't tell me where he is. Uh, I suppose I'm going to have to go and check. It is getting late in the day, but if I can get the... Uh, Hi there! package to deliver from him. So, Imperial Elven Gardens, Hello. he pointed towards that way. And I suppose I'll look for an Imperial.
Oh. I think I really like that woman. I am developing feelings for her. I feel it whenever I look at her face. I don't know what to hey, say to her, though. We have a good uh, relationship as it is now, but uh, perhaps if I help her with what she's asked for, for her sister, for all the ingredients. It's you. Hi. Oh, you know who I am, do you? Why else would you go around saying it's you? I'm just lucky to be alive. Ha -ha! Oh, what, what? Goodbye. Okay, as long as it's a rat. Stop, Stop attacking the cats. Wonderful. That's a Fergus thing, and I'm so I've... a little tired of that. No. Okay, not good. So I was told that Severus Atius is in the foaming... Foaming flask? The inn here. Greetings to you. Oh, there's Fergus. To see you. A pleasure to see you. Something I can do for you? You're not... Are you Severus... What's the name? Severus Atius. You're not Severus Atius, are you? Pointed over What's here. The news from the other parts of town? I thought you were a Nord when I first saw you. Sometimes it's hard to tell apart from the distance. Savarius Atius, we will comply with the Watch's orders. The Atius family will stay clear of the Syntavs if they stay clear of us. Uh, I have no idea what that means. You need something delivered. Ah, a black horse courier. Er, courier. I have this letter that needs delivering to an old friend of mine. Halfed Holloway and Bruma. Good luck. What can you tell me about the Imperial City? I agree with the Watch Captain. This Aetius Sintev feud has gone on long enough. I can control my people. I hope Inil can control his. Do you need somebody to help intervene, do you? No? Okay. Heard any good rumors lately? Captain Lex blames the Grey Fox for stealing the tax collection. <laughs> he wants a bounty put on the Grey Fox. But the Legion commander has refused. <laughs> so it's begun. I don't know. It's begun. I mean, that's, everyone's starting to talk about that now. It's the second time I've heard of that story. <sighs> Bruma. Well, I'll have to return to Bruma at some point, I'm sure. But, oh yes, there was a necromancer. Roxy Inn. Was it Moss Rock's Cavern that she wanted me... Uh... I know I have to go to Sancrator. No, isn't that over here somewhere? Here. Yeah, oh, first place I looked at. I know my geography. So, north of Coral and west of Bruma. Tell you the truth, I really do not feel like going through all the Aelid places. They're everywhere in Cyrodiil. And if I'm having so much trouble just finding them, the Shadow Banish wine at the forts. Ugh. I heard that there's around 50 different known locations, although they're not all named, or studied, I should say. They all have names, of course, but do we know of them? Oh, that could take ages. They're everywhere. I've tried to stay away from them. Macamentane, of course, is the one of the ones I went to. But on the other hand, you know, he did name these certain ones. And perhaps these are the ones that will have them, because he did, uh, Umbacano, if I'm talking about, he did say that it is thought that if these uh, old Aelid statues would be anywhere, they'd be at these certain ones. Perhaps, uh, maybe after we deal with, oh, uh, what was his name? From the Mythic Dawn, Makar Cameron. But, you know, Sankrator and Nindavia, Nin and Davia are very close to each other. But right now, I want to go to the Roxian, and after that, I plan to go to Skingrad and start to do the work around the area. Right, so I need to see, where did my notes say? Excuse me, I'm burping a bit from the, the ale I just drank while I was in there. Uh, crying voices. No, that's something completely different. Yeah, I have to find that last Clanfear claw. I've been searching everywhere for it. None of the alchemists sell it, and I haven't encountered a Clanfear in ages. Okay, here it is. Melene at the Roxy Inn, in the wilderness north of the Imperial City, has asked me to help her rid the area of a necromancer who calls himself Raylene... Raylene? The Gravefinder. 
Rayland can be found in Moss Rock Cavern in the north, and judging by my map, it's really close to the Rock's Inn. That's actually fairly close from here, and there is a bridge that goes north, despite my old map not showing it. You know what? We're here at an inn. Let's stay here for the night, and we'll head out in the morning. If I ever see that guy, he is in so much trouble. Well, it's quite the idyllic scenery. All right, so probably a good time to read one of the books that I have. On Morrowind, the Imperial Province, since I've been thinking about it lately. After the conquest of Hammerfell, Imperial legions massed along the northeastern borders of Cyrodiil and invasion fleets prepared in Skyrim. This is obviously from Tiber Septim, back before the Third Era began. Initially, though the Imperial Legions and Navy were widely considered undefeatable, House Indro and the Temple Hierarchy proposed to resist to the death. Redoran and Dress stood by Indro, with Telvanni remaining neutral. Hlalu proposed accommodation. Contrived border incidents in Black Marsh ended inconclusively, but the swampy terrain did not favor Legion and Navy coordination. Against the Legions massed west of Sograd Tower and Cragnmore, and the legions west of Blacklight and Cormaris view, Morrowin had pitifully small militias stiffened by small companies of Redoran mercenaries and elite units of house nobles and temple ordinators and armagers. Further complicating matters was the refusal of Indorel, Dress, Lalu, and Telvanni to garrison the western borders. Indorel and Dress proposed, rather than defend the western borders, and instead to withdraw to the interior and fight a guerrilla war. With Lalu advocating accommodation and Telvanni remaining neutral, Redoran therefore faced the prospect of standing alone against the Empire. The situation changed radically when Vivek appeared in person in Vivek City to announce his negotiation of a treaty with Emperor Tiber Septim, reorganizing Morrowind as a province of the Empire, but guaranteeing all rights of faith and self-government. A shock temple hierarchy, which apparently had not been consulted, greeted the announcement with awkward silence. Indoril swore they would resist to the death, and with the loyal support of Dress, while Redoran, grateful for a graceful excuse to avoid facing the legions unsupported, joined with Lalu in welcoming the agreement. Telvanni, seeing which way the wind blew, joined with Lalu and Redoran in supporting the treaty. Nothing is known of the circumstances of the personal meeting between Septim and Vivek, or where it took place were the preliminaries which must have preceded the treaty. The public reason was to protect the identities of the agents involved. In the West, speculation had centered around the role of Zurn Arctis in brokering the agreement. In the East, rumors suggest that Vivek offered Numendium to aid in the conquest of the Altmer and Somerset Isle in return for significant concessions to preserve self-rule, house traditions, and religious practices in Morrowind. The Lord High Counselor of the Grand Council and Indro refused to accept the treaty and refused to step down. He was assassinated and replaced by a Hlalu. House Hlalu took the opportunity to settle some old scores with House Indro and a number of local councils change hands in bloody coups. More blood was shed in these inter-house struggles than against the Imperial Legions during Morrowind's transition from an independent nation to a province of the Empire. The generals of the legions had dreaded an invasion of Morrowind. The Dunmer were widely regarded as the most dreadful and fanatic foes. Further inspired by their temple and clan traditions, the generals had not grasped the political weakness of Morrowind, which Emperor Tiber Septim recognized and exploited. At the same time, given the tragic depopulation and destruction experienced by the other provinces conquered by Septim, and the swift and efficient assimilation of Morrowind into the imperial legal systems and economy, with relatively small impact on lower or upper classes of Morrowind citizens, the tribunal also deserves some credit for recognizing the hopelessness of Morrowind's defense, and the chance of gaining important concessions at the table, treaty table, by being the first to offer peace. Is that the religion or is that the three gods? Quite often it's synonymous. Uh, by contrast, Many Indoro nobles chose to commit suicide rather than submit to the Empire, with the result that the house was significantly weakened during the period of transition, guaranteeing that they would lose much of their influence and power to House Lalu, whose influence and power was waxing with its enthusiastic accommodation with the Empire. The Temple Hierarchy more skillfully managed their loss of face, 
remaining aloof from political struggles and earning the goodwill of the people by concentrating on their economic, educational, and spiritual welfare. Yes, I know how fanatic these Dumber could be. I lived... I was in Morrowind for almost a year. I lived there for almost a year. We were studying one of the Dwemer ruins. It's you. Hi. <sighs> He's the local drunk. All right, let's mount up and get out of here. We have to go and find a necromancer, which I am very happy to go to. Now, where is it exactly? We have to go ride around the Lake Ramar, find the Roxy Inn, and go to the north to a place called Moss Rock Cavern. Just northeast of here. Ugh, not gonna wait for her. Of course, an oblivion gate has changed the sky. Some of its... Some of the sky from its own uh, realm must leak into ours. That's why I can see it in the sky above. Did I already go north of it? There's the rocks here. Have I found it? So here I am in my complete Daedric outfit. Except for the helm, of course, and the shield. But I like what I have. Let's go in, kill ourselves, a necromancer. Rats. This oh, place uh, is really a wraith. <laughs> Take that. So Verkus has two Daedric weapons. One to fall back on once the, one of them is gone. I would like to... You leave a friend alone, you bastard! Why can't I move? Oh. I was literally stuck. Ah, too late. Damn chest in my way. This is worth a bit. I can sell that. That rat's still alive. Oops. Ha! Uh, uh. Not anymore, it is. It isn't. Elven long sword. Oh, we don't need it. Ectoplasm. Huh. That's some tree root. The bone meal. <coughs> Somebody's ahead. Your presence here will not be to tolerated. What's that noise? Uh, Fergus, you're gonna have to open this door. I can't open it. Let me try. You got it? Oh. Fergus! Let me try. Let me try. Uh, you know what? He's having trouble with it, so... I have... Something I can use here. Open hard lock. Show me what you've got. Oh, got it. I kill you. Oh! Right into the lair of Necromancer. Ah! That's a wraith there. Where? Where is she? <laughs> She's dead already. I've slain Raylin of the Greyfinder. I shall return to Malene at the Roxian and deliver the good news. But I didn't even get a chance to hit her. You think you can beat me? I'm just Go ahead. I didn't slay her. This is somebody else. There, that's it. Oh wow. Uh <laughs> This woman had a lot on her. Fortified magic of pants. Healing, sorcery. Wow, uh. I can get rich. Off just killing one of them. Well, not really rich, but for a peasant it is. Yeah, uh, she was digging up bodies, was she not? <laughs> Pretty obvious. Okay, can you open this, please, Fergus? She Let me try. 
wasn't she? Look at this. There. That's it. I'm glad we survived it all. Is that not more like ball? Topaz, ruby, sapphire. Yeah. Oh, it's a pearl over there. The sounds of this place. It's like she's un unlocked a door to oblivion, and I can't see everything, but things are coming through, like the wraiths. No, I really don't need that pewter. Whatever it is. Plate. Worth nothing. So, who killed Raylene? It wasn't me. She's a Daedric Mace on her. Whew. Staff of Storms. Uh... You know what, Fergus? Open this, please. Let me try. Maybe if you get in a position where you can open it. There, oh. that's it. Mystery of Princess, Mystery of Princess Talera, Part Four. All right, well, we read books from time to time. Now I don't think that's all there is to this cavern, but we seem to have come across the right area. This is, uh, yeah, pretty obvious <laughs> that she was a foul necromancer. I don't think I've ever seen a necromancer shrine like this. Like that rat meat. I don't think it should be murdered to accidentally kill another <coughs> adventurer in the cave. After all, we all know the risks. Did she say I don't think it should be considered murder if we accidentally kill an adventurer in a cave? After all, we know we all know the risks. I, I don't care as long as I'm not going to get caught. Somebody else is here. More necromancers, as I thought. I don't care. Where? Stay still. I am getting really full, uh, carrying, or heavy, carrying all these things. Ebony mace. I don't really need these things like I used to either. <sighs> she has potions. Uh, I don't really need these. I've got so many of them on me. In fact, I have a bit too many useful potions. I should probably give some to Vilya. So, so keep going here. I was hoping that it would end. Oh, so this is where they create, put their creations, huh? I am going down there, not with two of those rays. Okay, I got the attention of that one. I'll kick your sword out to the moon. <laughs> uh, I have you. Okay. Focus on the wraiths. These things actually kind of scare me. Let's see what you can Yeah. Huh. One's dead. You made a big mistake. Uh, there. Got it. Come on. Kill it, kill it. You think you can beat me? There, I captured a soul. I had to go down there to try to do that. Otherwise I I'm not touching that uh, zombie. Yeah, I don't have to loot everything like I used to. I have a good amount of septums now. Oh. 
Could it be that they summoned the zombie to carry the caskets back and forth? They're really busy here. Yeah, that's another reason why I don't want the dead. To, or sorry, necromancers. Because they dig up the dead. There were some grave robbers. <laughs> oh wow. You take this Oh, mister. I can't even see. Oh, that ozone in the air. Ugh. <coughs> Wait. Where? Where? I can't even see her. Zapping me. So, if I can't see her, I don't want her to see me. Where are you? There she is. Two can play. Ah! <laughs> That's really, um... Yeah, I don't like to be in receiving yet. That's a lot to breathe in. Immolating touch tone. It's worth quite a bit. Blizzard. Ugh. You know what? I'll take these. I'm just going to start selling them because I can only carry so many. I guess I can take this... The Daedric Mace is just too heavy. Oh, uh, and the poison. What? Ew. This is where the smell's coming from. I was too busy. <coughs> Uh, I feel like I should know that. Um, Greater Soul Gem. Necromancer's Moss Rock Key. Well, you know what, I'll take it just in case. I should know who this statue is, too. I really hate necromancers. It's like a little imp down there. Maybe it's like a necromancer <laughs> being controlled by an imp or an aspect of Molag Ball. Oh, the flies. <coughs> I hate that smell. And a great weapon. And a glass mace. That's too heavy. Nightshade. The Book of Danger. I have that book. Gold. Well, I'm definitely not going to sleep here. Only an idiot necromancer would sleep next to rotting corpses. I mean, how disgusting is that? Flies landing on you. Flies everywhere. The smell. Ugh. You're nauseated just thinking of it. Okay, the way out. You know, these necromancers really are disgusting. They're as bad as the zombies that they create. Alright, I think it was this way. I think I need something to drink. You want something to drink, do you? What's on your mind, friend? Actually, I could use something too. Um, yeah. Now that you say it, I can use a bit of wine after that. I got mead for you, waiting for you to ask me, but I'll drink this Sir L. Brothers Vintage 415. Kamika is better, but. Farewell. Mm. They say alcohol dulls the senses and the mind. Well, <clears throat> sometimes you need that to get over stuff that you've been through. And I have been through a lot. And I continue to go through a lot, so... I'll have my fill when I need it, thank you. Oh, as it keeps hello. me going. Three sets of glass and one daedric. Oh, this uh, very busy place. What's this about everyone vanishing out of Ellswell? Sure. You too. I assume you've dealt with Raylan appropriately. Yes, Raylan the Gravefinder. She's been dealt with. 
I realize it's in poor taste to celebrate anyone's demise, but Raylan was evil through and through. You've done the right thing. I believe we had a contract. Here's my part. 645 septums, thank you. Heard any good rumors lately? Still no news out of Ellswell since everybody vanished. Strange business. Yeah, well that's news to me. What can you tell me about Ellswell? A small settlement to the west of here, on the other side of the Silver Road to Bruma. I know where it is. We've had travelers through recently that say it's turned into a ghost town. Everyone vanished without a trace. I wonder if the Daedra aren't involved with that. Let me see what you sell. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Oh, you have Tamika. Vintage 415. Oh, I'll see about getting her to like me more. All right, let's talk. She should like me after getting rid of the necromancer. We'll see. She's actually not a bad-looking Nord. She looks more like an... Uh, you know what? She kind of reminds me of Vilya. <laughs> Vilya is prettier, though. That's not na Don't. Sure. So That's we cute. started talking. Not bad. That's... Don't try to man... I accept. I... Don't. That's pretty. I doubt. Don't talk such rot. Thanks. For me. Excellent. Let's do business. All this just for some Tamika's West Wheeled. Uh, Tamika's Vintage 415. Well, I don't want to buy that many. This one. You're trying to drive me out of... Ugh, after I bribed her. Okay, right, let's try this again, shall we? Just for one more gold. That's all. Uh, I guess you don't really sell anything else that I could use. Uh, Lockpick, you know I'll buy those for Fergus. Excellent deal. Hero City, Skingrad, Shaden Hall, Bruma. I have all those. Another no, sad. I've either read them or go on, have them. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? I won't Hello? What can I do for you? Heard any good rumors lately? The Clovian Highlands? Near the Hammerfell border. No one lives there. That's barren wastelands. Uh, okay. Good day. So long. Take care. Good Bye. day. Greetings. Hello. What can I do for you? Heard any good rumors lately. If you're all alone in the woods and you see a troll coming, you run. Problem solved. Next well, with question. With heavy armor. I suppose I can get my horse and run, but I'd rather kill the troll. I go. What I go it? places for a reason. What's going on with not you? just to run you? from monsters they say when I encounter them. Of wizards have Hello. Yes. Another fellow Breton. Heard any good rumors lately? Have you seen a land dreg? We call them billies. Don't know why. Steer clear of them, though. Billies! I... Who, who named that? Uh, <laughs> a Bosmer? Yeah. Farewell, land dregs the are tough. Their talons go wizard. right through me. Hello? What do you want? Rumors. Have you heard any good ones lately? If you're all alone in the woods and you see a troll coming, oh, yes, you yes. run. Problem solved. Next not, question. Not really, because if I need to go there, which I always do. Seeing you. How are you today? Hello. What? That's quite the armor you're wearing. Pretty good rumors. If you've done good deeds, the nine will bless you and cure diseases when you visit their way shrines. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to be wearing the helm. It's kind of ugly. You have words? No, oh, a Khajiit, hello. What do you want? <laughs> Heard any good rumors lately? You've seen way shrines in the wilderness? Those who've pleased the Nine may receive blessings of willpower at the way shrines of Mara. All right. Well, thank you. Take care. Well, I was going to go to Skingrad, but <coughs> it appears that there is a mystery that I am very curious about. Because if Tatra are depopulating whole villages, that is actually extremely terrifying, the prospect of that. So I've heard rumors of strange happenings in the settlement of Allswell. You would think it was pronounced Aleswell, but Allswell. North of the Imperial City, I should investigate. That's what I will do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.